KSBW High School Playbook Blitz. We're at the Cardinal High School Cheerleaders, and you're watching High School Playbook Blitz with Dennis Clements. Yeah, thank you. Week six High School Playbook Blitz, as you saw, we had a rarity Friday afternoon game, so let's begin with that contest. Mission Trail League were a perennial power in that league. The Potters of Carmel, they were at home against the Pirates from Stevenson School in Pebble Beach. Right here, John Hugo, Carmel quarterback to John Stivers. The big tight end, and this guy's a playoff. 61 yards later, Stivers into the end zone. Real solid athlete and football player in Stivers. Touchdown, Carmel. Carmel defense uh, did a number on Stevenson today. Pirates and Stevenson couldn't get anything going. William won the interception here for Carmel. Nice defensive stop there. Stevenson's offense shut down most of the day. Then it's uh, Kavasi Windham, already over 100 yards on the ground, takes a pass in, goes 46 for the score. Bittersweet day for Kavasi, though. He scores here, but he would later go down with an injury. And we don't know how badly number 21 is served, but Carmel needs him. He went down. Carmel cruised to the win in this one. 34 to 9, the final students in field goal there. 34 to 9, Carmel now 3 and 2 in league play, or 3 and 2 overall, 2 and 0 in league play. Now let's go to the games that were played Friday night. After a big win over Hollister last week, Selena Sai home this week. Homecoming, homecoming for Selena Sai against Christopher. Slow start for the Selena offense, but they got it going later. They're a fine quarterback in. Uh, Matt Castaneda, and right here it's Cooper Smith going in for the touchdown. That would not be his only visit to the end zone tonight. Check out the interception by Oscar Sanchez. Got it. Masterful job of stealing that ball from the Cougar receiver. Not only that, it's going to return at 35 yards. Great play, Oscar Sanchez, Salinas side. Later, Cowboys take a 17-point lead. Matt Castaneda on the money. Smith into the end zone for his second touchdown. And then it's going to be Castaneda scrambling around, keeping the ball. He's got a good quarterback who's going to go places. So he has a good quarterback. That was set up a field goal by Sebastian Magana Garcia. Sebastian Magana Garcia had a couple of these tonight. Salinas High cruises 41 to 7. Salinas High and that man, Steve Goodbody, now the winningest coach in Salinas High history. Ninth season, good body, winning this coach, Salinas High history, and he did it in nine years. Great job, Coach Goodbody. Okay, moving on. Alisal Trojan, home against the Gilroy Mustangs. Both these teams were winners in their league openers last week. For the Trojans, it's Raul Garnica buying some time here. Going to stroll left and then hook up with Deppet Montmacio. Touchdown, touchdown, tough for me to say, touchdown. But later, how about the same combination and another touchdown for Alisal High? Yeah, he's in there somewhere. Touchdown, Maceal. Alisal also had some fine defensive play. Nice job here on the defense by David Valencia. That's Boom, right the there. Wow. Big hit. Trojans of Alisal get the win. Nice looking play right there. 21 to 7, Alisal. Now let's head to the third game played in Salinas tonight. Alvarez, the Eagles of Alvarez against undefeated Montevista Christian of Watsonville. And right here, a little pass. Ryan Spone to Seth Fletcher for Montevista Christian. And you know what? She's gone. Seth Fletcher all the way. Touchdown, Montevista Christian. Later, the Mustangs all-purpose running back, Deshaun Hopkins. He's a player, 24. That's a pretty easy score right there, though. Monta Vista Christian up by two scores, up by 14. Alvarez tries to get back in it. Big play right here. Josiah Garcia hooking up with K.J. Matthews. Nice gain into the Monta Vista Christian territory. And then later, it's going to be Josiah Garcia on the keeper. He's going in. Nice effort there, but not enough tonight for Alvarez. Monta Vista Christian remains unbeaten. They're unbeaten next week. They take on Palma. Woo. Our next stop tonight, the home of the Hay Bailers. Hollister against Monterey High. And this would be a one-sided contest in favor of the home team all the way. 
many hay baler touchdowns in this contest. One right here. Touchdown right there. And then, you know, I forgot to write down that guy's name. Touchdown! Hey, Baylor's. But I know who this next touchdown is. It's a Kyle Cameron. Number three, going to turn left and head all the way into the end zone for the Hollister score right there. He's not tall, but he's fast. Not going to catch him. Touchdown, Hay Baylor's. And then talk about effort, extra effort. I want you to check out the play here by Christian Cabada. Watch him take in this pass. I'm talking about number 17. He's going to grab it and he stopped, but he's not going to be denied until he sticks the ball into the end. A touchdown, Hay Baylor's. Wow. Hay Baylor's Cruz. One more for the team in red. But Dan Hopkins. He's going in for six. All Hay Baylor's all night. 44 to six over Monterey, the final from Hay Baylor Village. Now, let's bring in my good friend, Mike Furtani. He's going to give us a lowdown on Seaside Gonzalez and Pisa. Thanks, Dennis. We're headed to Seaside High, where one of the longest tenured local coaches, Al, Al Avila, has led the Spartans for over a decade through thick and thin, good times and bad. Tonight, his team took the field against the surprising Grizzlies of Pajaro Valley. Seaside High hosting Pajaro Valley. Nice run by the Spartans' Keyshawn Robinson coming up real soon. Right here, he takes the handoff. He's gonna get, he's gonna gain 25 yards for the Spartans of Seaside. Not gonna come down easily. And then it's Robinson again. He's gonna get the pitch and go around the end for 40 yards for the Spartan touchdown. He had over 100 yards on the ground tonight. Seaside just dominated with the running game. Demarcus Hawkins on the next play. Big number nine, he's a big fella, with the 30-yard rumbling touchdown run. No one's going to stop him to go, from going into the end zone. But Seaside also has a passing game. Jesse Morales with the pass for another Spartan touchdown. It was Seaside High all night long, 44 to nothing. The final from Seaside Spartan snap a two-game losing streak and get the shutout for Coach Avila and get back to 500. Next week, Seaside travels to Alisal and Pajaro Valley goes to North Salinas. Let's go down south. South County battle, Gonzalez taking on Soledad. And Gonzalez with a turnover, Robert Lopez with the pick and the 25 yards on the return. A little bit later, going to be a trick play by the Aztecs in a sec here. Keith Lemus going to end up with the ball, and he's going to throw to a wide open Robert Lopez in the end zone for the Soledad touchdown. 30-yard scoring play for Soledad. Gonzalez with another turnover. Johnny Sanchez gets the interception for Soledad. He's going to take this one back 20 yards. And then it's a handoff to Emmanuel Ortega who goes uh, over tackle and gets in the end zone for the five-yard solo that touchdown run. Man, check out the effort here by Aztec quarterback Eric Martinez. Keeper gained some big yards. A solo that even his league record and goes to 3-2 overall tonight. 21-3 the final from Dick Force Stadium. Now let's go to the City of Kings. High school playbook blitz football. Going out to the fans of King City for the Hall of Fame game, home opener for the Mustangs. Got to be honest with you folks, it was a no-scoring game while we were there. Nice run here by uh, King City quarterback Jacob Flores. And then it's Flores who looks up with Nick Lindsay for some yardage with the Mustangs. Tough, low-scoring South County battle as usual. Greenfield had a 12-game road losing streak coming into tonight's contest. King City had a five-game losing streak for home openers, so something had to give. 14 to 13, the Mustangs hang on to win it. King City hosts Soledad next week. Greenfield welcomes Soledad. Back to you, Dennis. All right, Mike. Watsonville tonight taking on uh, North Salinas, the Vikings. Homecoming for the Watsonville Wildcats. Home team takes the lead. Six yard touchdown by Ryan Roberts from Watsonville, but do not be deceived. North Salinas. They've got a tough customer and quarterback, Tim Burkhart. 15 yard run here. Dennis Burkhart. Going to pitch it out to Justin Rabante. And he's going in for the North Salinas touchdown. And North Salinas going to dominate this contest tonight. North Salinas going to win it. Chambers with the intercept in the North High here. He's a good all-around player. You see the score, 35-7. to 7. 
North Saline is the winner over Watsonville tonight. Now our next game is Pacific Grove taking on Marina. Pacific Grove Marina at Monterey Peninsula College. Nice pump return coming up here. Pacific Grove, Colby Foster. He's going to go all the way. Colby Foster on the return. Marina Mariners have played pretty well, but they're not going to win this one. Because Pacific Grove is a winner. 42 to 14, the final in that one. 42 to 14, the final in that one. Now, if you missed any of the scores, go to our website. We'll be back with more after this.